You know, when I'm not showing you Italy, I'm actually here in Carrara cutting this fantastic stone. Folks, today I am in the Cooperativa of Scultori di Carrara. It is a co-op run by this group of both male and female sculptors who are trying to maintain the tradition of working marble by hand. Of course, in our modern world, it's much easier and convenient to have robots and machines uh, work this particular type of stone but they're doing it here today like they've done it for centuries, and that is molding and transforming this extraordinary white marble into some of the most beautiful works of art that we see today. Carrying on that tradition that began with Nicola Pisano and Donatello and Michelangelo Bernini Canova all the way up to modern times. And so you can see that it's a veritable treasure trove of artistic creation and inspiration. Let's take a look around and see the kind of magic that they're working here. Do you ever wonder how Michelangelo made the David or how Bernini made the Apollo and Daphne? Well, you're gonna find out in a real life sculptural workshop because still today in the 21st century, we're making sculptures in the same way. And the first step of the whole process is the design. A two-dimensional rendering of what the sculpture is going to look like. That two-dimensional object is then turned into three-dimensional with the use of clay. And in fact, my friend Ernesto here, who is a master at making clay models, you can actually see him now pulling the clay out of what is the plaster cast then of the sculpture. So from design to clay model to plaster cast, and then finally to the real life marble statue, which of course is what they do par excellence here in Carrara. And from this little green wax model, or bozzetto as we call it in Italian, provided by the artist, they made a much larger plaster cast. And this plaster cast is then transformed into the marble sculpture using a method called pointing. You can see this wooden cross that's then used to transfer the coordinates essentially of the model of the plaster cast to the actual block of marble that you see here next to me. And let's see the sculpture in action. Mm -hmm. 